All right, everybody who got this mech right, raise your hands right now. The rattlesnake is, of course, an adder, but not a normal adder. It is going to be a Daka adder. This is, I think, the tiniest Daka box that we can build on the clan side. The adder alpha in shiny and chrome edition is going to be what we are going to be running today. Let's head on over to the loadout screen, shall we? Because there's a couple of things going on here. Now, in order to run this particular mech, you need any old adder. It doesn't really matter which adder you use. I just have the alpha right here because it gives us this uh, beautiful shiny and chrome skin, the alpha uh, shiny and chrome variant. But what's more important is we need two side torsos from the adder cinder because those allow us to put in the car weapons. No other adder side torsos allow this, so we need the cinder side torsos. What we also need is the left arm of the adder bravo and we need the right arm of the adder delta. Why is that? Now let's look at the quirks, shall we? 15% UAC jam chance, 10% ballistic cooldown, extra armor, extra structure, and extra ammo capacity. Okay, that's the delta right arm. What about the bravo left arm? Well, extra ammo capacity, ballistic cooldown, extra armor, extra structure. Now, if you do not have the cinder right and left torso, could you do this build? Yes but you will have less ammo because you will have to armor up your arms. Um, so I recommend only trying this build with the cinder because you are going to be starved for ammo all the time. Our main weapons are two Ultra AC5s. So that is basically, I want to say, not that much firepower. But remember, guys, we're on a light mech here. We're on a 35 tonner. Now, I said already we need ammo. So we've got one, two, three, four and a half tons of ammo for our weapons. In order to get all of that into our mech, we're cutting a lot of corners. Arms, zero armor. Head, one armor. Legs, also shaved by 10 armor each. So we're going a little bit crazy here. If you don't want to shave your legs completely, uh, maybe armor up the head a little bit more. Well, there's half a ton that you can remove. I just don't recommend it. I think you need all the ammo that you can get. The good thing about this mech is its CT is fairly armored, 70 armor on the CT, uh, 46 armor on the side torso. So it can take a couple of shots, but I do not recommend to play this as an assault mech. But of course, as we all know, all of TTP's light mechs are assault mechs by definition. Now then, we talked about the crux, we talked about the weapons, double UAC 5, double trouble, daga daga, clicking furiously. So that should be a lot of fun. In total, we get 35% UAC jam chance from all the mech parts that we currently have. There is, uh, of course, 10% UAC jam chance and 5% ballistic cooldown here on the center left torso, uh, as well as 10% UAC jam chance and cooldown on the right torso as well. That's why this makes it so nice. So I would recommend doing this on the center uh, side torsos if you have them, guys. But yeah, 35% UAC jam chance, 30% cooldown, ballistic, 5% heat, plus the extra ammo. Really, really, really nice to have. So this mech should daka a lot and jam a lot less, but uh, it still jams like hell, guys. Trust me on that one. Now then, talked about enough about this. Let's talk about the skill tree real quick. There's nothing crazy going on here, but we do have one change to the normal mech builds that you see with me. I went full cooldown. I went full cooldown to maximize the DPS that we have from our two Ultra AC5s. We also have range. We've got mostly heat gen. We've got Velocity, we've got Magazine Capacity, we've got UAC Jam Chance, of course. Then, no surprise right here, Skeletal Density, Armor Hardening, of course. No surprise here either, Seismic and Radio Depuration, and then one extra consumer slot. We don't need a double cool shot with Kusha cooldown, because the mech just doesn't get hot enough. It rather jams than overheats. I'm actually not sure if you actually need that much heat gen. Um, that is something that you guys need to test out for yourselves. If you don't end up needing that heat gen, you could invest these points somewhere else. For example, you could give yourselves a speed tweak. That would work. You could make your mech faster. Or you could give yourself more, more torso speed. Would also help. Now, yeah. there's various options that you can go right here. So I will leave that up to you. Just remember, guys, click on the red guys, and hopefully they will perish and die in flames, and you will be... Heralded as the tiniest mech with the biggest Daka on the battlefield. Remember, guys, when you're playing this mech, it's not the size of your mech that defines you. It's the size of the fight that you bring with you. And of course, we're going to showcase that in the two clips following. By the way, yeah, it's always two clips, guys. So make sure to watch both of them in their entirety. There's always some good stuff going on. And I'm always making sure to cut away the uh, boring parts in the beginning when there is no enemy contact, of course. Now then. You guys are going to ask me, what's going to be the next mech TTP? And the answer is, well, 
It is a mythological creature from the Far East. That should be an easy one to get, isn't it? But it's okay. Sometimes we can be easy. And we're going to be uh, doing some very naughty things with it that it is not meant to do. It's going to be a little bit insane, so you don't want to miss that next video. Guys, if you enjoy this content, if you'd like to support me in doing this full time, check out the various options. For example, join button right here on YouTube, the Super Thanks button in the comments. And of course, also other options like the merch store or Patreon, if you want to get your name onto the outro video at the end of every video. Thank you so much for all the supporters, guys. And hey, enjoy our adder. This is one that's a little bit out there. This build was suggested to me by a Twitch viewer, and we had a lot of fun with it. So keep those suggestions coming. Enjoy. I don't know if this match is going to be better for me or worse. We'll see. It really depends where our guys want to go. But I don't want to be alone in the forefront of the fight in this one. I feel a little bit too small, a little bit too light for that. I say that now and like Artillery I probably end up in the front as, as always. Like last round I was leading the fight in my light back. Because <laughs> the heavies and assaults didn't want to step forward. I mean you guys saw that, right? That's kind of hilarious. Target spotted. So much jam but no peanut butter. Rip. I hope that Arctic Cheetah has PPCs, because otherwise there's no reason for him to stand here. Oh, oh. Hi there, Assault Mech. of dudes coming in here. Let's wait for a sec. Oh, full jam. Dude, I got two die whales in here. <laughs> it's kind of nice. Just need to be careful not to get shot in the back and die here with this. Yeah, that's exactly what I meant. <laughs> I'm first in line! <laughs> Artillery strike. Not necessarily where I should be, but Artillery fuck it. Let's <laughs> fall back a little bit. Need yes! Fear the tiny adder! Fear me! Fuck, I'm jammed. <laughs> jammed it all. Oh, yes, Big Brother is watching me. My Big Brock's brother is here. He's thick, he's big, he's angry. I'm gonna back him up here on the side, I hope. Oh, he's going this way. Alright, we're going this way. And we're jammed again after one tap. I wish it wouldn't jam. I really, I really wish this wasn't so bad. And double jam. Again, this is a mech that has extreme lower jam chance. And it just jams like f crazy. Oh, hello. It's a lurm boat. He's a lurm boat! Double jam! Alright, let's push him. Otherwise, we won't be getting any more damage in. This guy's not looking too hot. I think he's looking very dead, actually. Yep. He's above us. Two targets left. Let's go! Assault adder! Assault adder! We're pushing. 
Target acquired. Target spotted. Target destroyed. Woohoo! I got a kill. Ah, I fell down. Damn it. Um, still missing one dude. I still have way too much. Oh, there we. Go. What? Target spotted. What are you doing over there, dude? <laughs> it was a nice, funny title push, though. But it, it was kind of hilarious. A tiny box up front. It was kind of hilarious. You gotta. Say. Please don't don't just run out the Target clock. Come on, let's fight. Come on, dude. Yes. Yeah, he's fighting. Respect that. Unfortunate time right now. All right. That wasn't such a bad round. The gems are still atrocious, though. <laughs> I could have done a lot more about the gems, but let's see how we did. Uh, one kill, two KDDs, 861 damage done, and two components destroyed. In a... Uh, yeah, it's actually top damage in the match in a light back. <laughs> I have 51 match score. Yep. I hope almost out damaged our two Marotus together. <laughs> GG. It's a lot stronger than the uh, Dakar Urbi. I'm gonna say that. Same tonnage, but way, way, way less firepower. Target acquired. Target spotted. Hey, yeah, I get you. You got PPCs. Everybody, the grandmother has PPCs these days. Artillery strike online. I haven't seen any enemies yet, though, so that's kind of weird. Wow, my poor arms. Leave my arms alone. They did do nothing to you. More low ground, Charlie 4. My team is doing a, uh, a low ground rotation here, I think. Oh, no, don't fall down. Stay up there. Yes. Target, target spotted. Are we doing a simultaneous play for us? Target spotted. Target destroyed. Okay. We're gonna get if you you're gonna be disconnected there or something? Rip. Target spotted. Target spotted. Target acquired. Wow! Why is the whole team pushing me? They're pushing Target low run Charlie for right now. Can you guys please stop rotating on the outskirts? Artillery like, what is this? Online. Gretchen Hasenfuss and the no-cockers? New target acquired. Is that Jim? Target acquired. Oops. Enemy base is being captured. Target spotted. Jam! Full jam! Destroyed. Full jam! New target acquired. Target spotted. Jams again! Fucking jams! Shoot more! Yes! Eat my daka! Oh, where does this guy come from? I'm jammed! Stop jamming! Fucking jams! Damn it, I can't. Can we, can we please not jam? Critical damage. Artillery strike online. Artillery strike activated. I need to get this guy. Wow, not in the back, please. That sucks. Hello there. Left arm critical damage. Target destroyed. <laughs> All right. Okay. Target spotted. Um. Oh target god. Acquired. PPC Lord. New target acquired. I'm at the wrong target spot for spotted. this. I think. Can I get up there? No. Damn it. Target spotted. I want to deal with PPC load over there. Move. Target spotted. All right. Should win this. 
I just want to do some more damage. Let me at him. Don't run away. New target acquired. Target there we destroyed. go. Target spotted. New target acquired. Target spotted. Can we please not jam? Just for a little bit. Target spotted. Just for a little bit. Fuck off, dude. Can we, can we unjam, please, EJ? Is that possible? Target Not to jam for a second. Target acquired. Target spotted. I think this has like insane less jam chance. I thought you guys Target told me acquired. this thing doesn't jam as much. Target spotted. Target destroyed. <laughs> I got 77 rounds left. What the fuck, man? <laughs> Oh no, don't kill him. Don't kill him. No, 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 don't you do it. Don't do it. Ah, damn it. That one's mine. Ah. <laughs> it's a fun little mech. Yo, 924 damage. Not bad. Could have had a thousand if I didn't jam as much and if I didn't miss so many shots. Two kills, solo kill, two KMDs. 927 damage done, two components. 608 match score in the Dakar adder. It's fun. But even with the less jam chance, you're still jamming like a bitch. <laughs> GG.